So I'm just heading out to meet with my friend Blair. We're gonna work uh, some numbers on this deal we're working on here, so which I can't really talk about yet, but uh, could be interesting. But anyways, first gotta run to uh, the old bookkeeper and meet with the customer, and then we're gonna roll over there and we'll check out his shop. Um, he's got six machines now, all Kubotas, and he actually, uh, I believe about two, two winters ago, he was doing like 60 properties or something like that. And now last year he was at 400 and this year he's actually about 500. Um, so some great growth there. But anyways, we will uh, go meet up with him and we'll get some video over there. So I'm just at my buddy Blair's shop here, checking out some of his units. He's got six of these L6060s. Uh, mostly the older style Norman inverteds, but there's a few of the, well actually there's one, one new hybrid. A bit tricky to get your hands on those right now. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to do a little comparison between this machine and the 4066. Uh, just took it for a little spin here. Seems like a good unit. Uh, don't have too much experience with it, but cool little tractor. First thing I noticed on the start, smokes a lot more than the 4066 one at start. Uh, the old Yanmar is pretty clean start. This wheel likes to smoke a little bit, but who cares, whatever. Um, he's got these nice fenders set up here. I think that's that's a good improvement. We're working on that. I'm uh, in the middle of fabricating some of those. Um, no, I like it. I like it overall. So, bit of a different cab layout. Radio up here, heat controls up here. You got your gauges down here as well. Gauges are a little bit different. You got your RPM here, fuel, blah, blah, blah. Bit of a bigger um, screen there, not bad. I don't mind that. Don't exactly know what this does. Whatever, I'll ask him. Um, you know, basic stuff, four ways. We got the auto throttle, both, both the Deere and Kubota have those. Uh, down the side here, remotes. A little smaller than on the Deere, but same idea. Ah, fairly similar. Uh, PTO, you got twist it, which I don't like that much. But whatever, this is a uh, same deal. Throttle here. Uh, it's maybe actually a little bit nicer having it here than up here, but uh, not, nothing major. Mirrors all good. Uh, what else? One thing, the pedal here, that does a trick too. It's actually the opposite of the John Deere. So on the Deere we have forward is here, reverse here. The sucker is forward here, then reverse here. Um, which works, but uh, yeah, I'll take her for a little spin here. And I don't believe it goes quite as fast. It's a couple cans slower than the Deere, but I think it's, I, oh yeah, this thing's got a better turn radius, I think. Like that is that is tight. I think that's that's a little better. Uh, but we'll, so we'll get her up to full speed here. Twenty-eight? Oh, twenty-nine? Oh yeah. Oh, pretty much the same thing. Takes off pretty good. Cool. Well, I don't know what else there is to show you. Overall, seems like a pretty nice machine. I'll just tour her in the shop here. Do -do -do. I saw a 29 out of it. I don't know if it is actually any slower or not. It, yeah, I mean, you'll be maybe going downhill. You won't consistently get 29. Right. Yeah. 
Oh, it's, it's a good yeah, unit. Find, oh, the one thing I found in the accumulator is you need to either drop them or pull up a little bit. Like when you're already all the way at okay. full height. Right. If you pull back past max height, yep. it like dumps the accumulation. So it basically resets the shock absorption. So if you oh. find, you might, yours might do the same thing, but like trying to think of the proper way. I'm just gonna be able to open the door there. Right. But basically, the shock absorption, I find you get about two to three minutes of road right. work before you start getting it really bouncy. Okay. The accumulator has filled. Oh, like okay. It's basically absorbed everything it's gonna absorb. Yeah. And then you have to, you, you basically have to, it seems like you're dropping the, the pressure. Oh, interesting. I hadn't noticed so, that yet. Yeah, maybe maybe it's just the ones they gave me or how they're set up. I don't know enough about them. Huh. But it, it definitely swings up the ride. You probably noticed yeah. a huge oh, yeah. difference this Especially year. Especially with the big blower one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh, but interesting. This could be a fine ride. I didn't find it. Yeah. I drove one of the normal ones the first night and the hybrid the second night. Right. And uh, I didn't, I found the drive to be so much better than okay. the machine. Between huh. the weights on the front and the accumulator. Yup. No wheelies anymore. No. Uh, don't feel like I missed the front, so. Yeah, no, that's solid. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick, quick little film of the hybrid, hybrid here. Sure. I don't know, I don't know anybody else that has an 82. Like, do you know anybody else has this this one? I think this might be the only one in Southern. I know. I picked it up from the farm show in Woodstock. Oh yeah, that's where I got one of my cyclones too. Like the, they had already ordered it, and they Norman basically brought it there to demo. Right. And I had already committed to it, and basically they said to me, "Hey, can we keep it in the shop for another month just to show people?" <laughs> like in August. Yeah. Sure. Right. But, uh, yeah, I was happy with the last time. Okay. Yeah, no, that's good. Looks oh, good. The other nice addition, as silly as it seems, the uh, see these pins here. Yep. Like how they're actually bolted on. Right. This anti skips. Um, I actually had to take it off because it jumped past it once. Oh. But it's an easy fix because you just undo the bolt, drive it like, you know, oh, tilt yeah, it yeah, back, yeah. put it back on. Right. Where the other blowers, they've just got the, the cutout. Yeah. But if you're going too fast, you can slip right by the stopping point. And oh. then your blower is basically pointing at the back of the cab <laughs> and you can't yeah. get it off of that. Oh, really? Like, like um, where's one of the other regular blowers? Well, yeah, we'll look at this one at the end here. Sure. But we're right at the back. Yeah, slide down this way. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> see, like, see how it's just got the cutout. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that minor, like that too. Yeah. yeah. Well, it can slip into that notch. Right? Oh, like it can slip I've never had into that. Into the cutout. Okay. And then you have to basically take a big bar and and just manually pop it back. Right. Now, what I should be doing is just putting a reducer on the hydraulics so it's not going fast enough for that. Oh, to yeah. Going. Yeah, I noticed that one's pretty quick. Yeah. But um, I don't, yeah, we haven't done that yet this year. Right. And right. this is the. Oh, the old wobble. Yeah. Ah. So. <laughs> oh, what can you do? This is the one that we're going to have to get repaired. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Hopefully it's not too bad. Is this one, it's not under warranty or is it? Hopefully. Yeah. I haven't gotten into it yet with them. I want to blame it on them, but we'll see whether <laughs> yeah. it flies or not. Yeah. So. I noticed this one, it, your, uh, the three-point link is quite a bit lower. I wonder why, like our three-point link, I'm pretty sure it's like up here. Yes. I don't know yeah. why, but I don't know whatever. That, I don't know that it yeah. should matter too much. You wouldn't think, yeah. But, um, yeah. I did like how much more paint the back of your three-point had. Because you can see oh. all the, like one year and all the, Rust spots from all the connections. Oh, Nothing right. major, just surface stuff, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, the green, your, the, uh, not yours, but like the yeah. 4066 was just all slather in, in John Deere paint. Right. Nice. Yeah. Because, I mean, Kubota doesn't actually paint any of their metal green or orange, right? Oh, right. They just have all the, the fendering and the inside of the tires and this. Yeah. Where Deere, every piece of metal they can find yeah. <laughs> has been coated again. So. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, the fenders are nice. I do want, I did want more weights on them. Yeah. But after having driven them this year, I'm... Okay, well, if it works. But if you end up, uh, I don't know if they'll fit the same bracket that you've got your buddy fabbing for you, but if they will, or if he wants to fab some more, you let me know, I'll... Uh, yeah. I'll get, I want, uh, well, they can each take three more, so... Right. 18 more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. Because, yeah, they, the other thing is, I know you can wait the tires or fill the tires. Yeah, we're, we're doing that right now. Like, on that 4066 I bought, I'm pretty sure 
they're skinnier. I don't know if they're these. I think, yeah, maybe they are the same as these. There's a, like my 52, I think, actually has wider rear tires. There's still the Nokia, same deal. Let me get this. But, yeah. 480 or 24. I'll look at that again. One of them is smaller. Surprisingly, the new tractor without having a load of tires, I was not impressed with the traction, uh, which was weird. I don't know why, so we're gonna load it up and see. But, but the other tractor, it actually doesn't even have weighted in the rear, mm -hmm. and the traction is great. <laughs> so, yeah, no I, liner weighted. Wow. None of my huh. tires. Okay. They, um, uh, we still probably only need to turn four wheel on at like a quarter, ten percent of my properties. Maybe. Right. Most of it on an on an average night, on a night where it was like heavy wet snow, and I was driving over like plow curtains. Yep. Then I'd worry more about um, waiting and uh, like putting in four wheel when you pull up. Right. Now I only turn four wheel on if I'm having any traction issues. Oh, okay. Which are still pretty rare. Yeah. Well, that's good. Saves you a bit of fuel that way too. Do you find you like the larger front tires on the four series better than the three series? Because they are small. On yeah. The three series. They are. They're, yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah. They're a little, yeah, they're a little bigger on these ones, but not much. Yeah, no, that's definitely a big thing. I think that one's gonna, I'm gonna trade it in next year and probably another new 52. That makes sense. And that yeah. One, yeah. Yeah. I wish, uh, I wish Kubota had better dealers in the area. Yeah. <laughs> so John Deere definitely wins in, in dealer support. Right. But, yeah, anyway. Huh. What's she gonna get? Yeah, get whatever you want. Yeah. Huh, interesting different guard design here. Does that work pretty well, just dropping it down? Or do you ever, like, have you plugged this one at all yet? No. No, but that's I've taken good. it off to see. Right. And you can basically get right down in it to unclog it. Nice. You're only, you've only got about 12 inches once you take that off. Yep. So, like, it's not too Oh, much yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's um, nice. And it comes off pretty easy. Right. Yeah, it's, it's nice and close to the tractor. That's that's good. It is tight. Yeah, yeah. yeah like the new, I I, uh, I had a video the other day of uh, at Jim's, well at the Cyclone factory. They they did this again too on the new Pronovos Cyclone one. What do you mean? Like uh, like the whole bolt-on three-point oh, okay. hitch thing and bring it closer to the tractor. It's probably about the same as this, I would assume. Maybe. Yeah, I, I don't can't know. Imagine, like you've got the front bracket here. Eight yeah. inches from right. the back of the tire, like you can't get much closer. No, you really can't. Like yeah, that's, that's about as tight as you can get at this point. So yeah, and I haven't checked the total depth, but I imagine it's pretty much the same with if you include the scraper bar on the. Uh, right. The this one almost seems a little longer than than uh, like a little more capacity. Depth. Maybe I don't know. It is. Oh, the yeah, like this. Yeah. Sentence? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Know, I I don't know the second, but yeah, I thought the same thing. I thought yeah. Most of the times when I've looked at the cyclones, I've been worried about the box size for the times you have to just drag. And you can't right. Run right. Yeah. Away. Yeah. Um, not as bad as the Farm King that's outside. No. I think there's no box at all. <laughs> yeah. Um, but. But I have seen the cyclones do look like their volume may, might be lower. Yeah, the new one they actually upped it. It's like this now. It's yeah. probably about the same. Maybe well, the height same opening height is, is then, yeah, because that was the other thing is yeah. you always notice the height opening seemed to be yeah seemed to be a lot lower. The original ones were pretty low. Yeah, I think they they I they mean, upped our, that. in our area. Ah, yeah. Fine <laughs> anyway, most yeah. of the time, right? No, nah, true. But no, I uh, I don't know whether the next one I buy will be hybrid or not. But uh, I certainly wouldn't be 